Okay guys, since tomorrow I find out the gender of the baby, I figured that um, I'll do a fun little game, if you will. Uh, we're going to go through this list of old wives tales that supposedly tell you the gender and see what we got. Now, by all means, I am not trusting this. Um, just looking for paper so I can be able to mark to keep track of, you know, how many tallies go on each color. Um, so, let's see. I've got a pen here. And I'm just going to put... B on one side and G on the other side and as we go through I will mark what it is but I will show the camera instead of me saying you know girl or boy pink or blue so let's do this shall we old wives tell number one is the heart rate it says that if your baby's heart rate is above 140, it is said that you will be having a girl. If it is under 140, then it says that you're going to be having a boy. So, that one is pink because um, it was like 150 something. Number two, uh, if you're uh, the shape of your belly, if you're carrying high with a big round belly, you're having a girl. If you're carrying low with a smaller belly that sticks straight out, it's a boy. Um, right now, I am carrying low, but I don't really have much of a belly right now, so. I'm going to take that one and I'm going to put it on blue because I am carrying low. Number three is the ring test. I don't have anybody here to assist me with that, so we're just going to skip that one. Uh, number four is acne. Excuse me. Okay, so number four is acne. If you have acne while pregnant, it's a girl. It's thought that acne during pregnancy is caused by extra hormones. I have been breaking out. I've got little spots all throughout my body where I've got breakouts. So that's... Okay. Number five is cravings. People believe that if you are craving salty foods while pregnant, you can count on having a boy. If you crave sweets, fruits, orange juice, you're having a girl. I've been eating lots of fruit, drinking lots of orange juice. I've been wanting it. I actually want to go get me some fruit right now. But I don't have none. So I can't wait to go grocery shopping so I can get some fruit. Okay, um, number six, the skin under your left eye. Never heard of this one before, but okay. The eye test is when a V of, or branches appear when you pull down the skin under your left eye. If you see a V or the branches in the white part, you're having a girl. So, the left part? I don't know, do you guys see a V there? in the white part. You guys let me know if you saw a V because if you saw a V then that means it's a girl. If you didn't then I guess it's a boy. So let me know in the comments if you saw a V and uh, I will be sure to mark that. Number seven, the time of conception. The person is the, the person that is most aggressive in bed at the time of conception is the opposite of what the baby will be. Okay, so the 
opposite of most oppressive. Well, then that would be pink. Um, let's see. Number eight, legs. If your legs get really big, you're having a boy. If your legs stay in shape and lean, it's a girl. I have not noticed any change in my legs except for the fact that the my inner thighs have been itchy. So, we're going to go with that. Alright. Um, moodiness and a little pecker. This is this one is odd but funny if you're really moody you're having a girl since extra girl hormones in you um, your pregnancy will make you smile and be happy if you're having a boy because there's a little penis inside you um, I have been very moody uh, there's certain days where I won't talk to anybody because I don't want to have them say something and I react to it differently than I should. So there are days where I just choose to not talk to anybody. I stay in my room. Uh, if somebody messages me on Facebook, I either ignore it or I open it up, read the message, but I won't respond. So. So just so you know, if you have me on Facebook and you message me and I don't message you back, then probably one of those days and I'm very moody on that particular day and I don't want to say the wrong thing. So there's your warning. Uh, number 10 is the Chinese gender chart. My mom actually did this one for me, and according to the gender chart on um, on that, I am having a girl, according to the chart, as I said. Uh, let's see. Number 11, mom's beauty. Basically, if you're having a girl, your beauty disappears during pregnancy. It is said that the girl steals the mother's beauty. If you think pregnancy has made you look more beautiful, then it's a boy. Honestly, with me, my face has been very oily. I've been breaking out a bunch. My hair, it gets tangled so freaking easily. Um, I'm like, yeah, no. I have not been feeling very pretty at all lately. Others may disagree with me. Uh, let's see. Dream of sex of baby is number 12. If you dream, if you have dreams of that you're having a boy, then you will have a girl. If you're having dreams that you're having a girl, it will be a boy. See, with that one, it's hard to say because I've had dreams of both. There will be, you know, one night where I dream that it's a girl. And there will be another night where I dream that it's a girl, or that it's a boy. So, that one, I can't really rely on that one. So, that one, we're going to do a tiebreaker. Or, we're going to do both. Because, that one didn't help at all. Uh, let's see. Number 13, clumsy versus uh, graceful. If you're graceful through your, throughout your pregnancy, you're having a girl. If she becomes, if I be, if you become clumsy, you're having a boy. I haven't been very clumsy at all. Actually, I'm normally very clumsy and I haven't been clumsy at all. So, it says that that's a girl. Um, number 14, the side that you rest on. Um, says left side, you're having a boy. Right side, you're having a girl. Again, I alternate. 
I alternate. So that one again does not help me. So we're marking that down for both. Um, number 15, dad's weight gain. If the dad to be while you're pregnant gains weight, it's a girl. If he doesn't gain weight, it's a boy. Um, well, in that case, it would be that one because he hasn't gained anything. Uh, breast test. If, the, if a woman's left breast is larger than the right, she's having a girl. Well, I'm not even going to finish reading that one. I'm sorry guys. Another thing of pregnancy. I'm yawning all the time and I'm always tired. Even if I've been up and moving around and all this other stuff. Um, what do you think? 71% of the time the mom to be knows what she is having. Deep down I feel like it's a girl. But because I've known so many people that, you know, thought they were having this and it was, you know, the opposite. I don't want to, you know, settle and get my hopes up that it is a girl because, you know, I don't want, you know, to be expecting a girl, you know, excited for a girl, thinking it's a girl, and then I find out it's a boy. I mean, either way, I'm going to be thrilled with whatever it is. But if I have to say what I've been feeling, then it's a girl. But we will know for sure tomorrow. Oi. Morning sickness is number 18. If you've had a smooth pregnancy with no morning sickness, it's a boy. If you were if you were sick or felt really nauseous during your pregnancy, it's a girl. I've been, like, my first trimester, oh my god, I was nauseous like crazy. Number 19, areola. If your areola, the part around your nips, have darkened, it's a boy. If they have not, it's a girl. So, that one is a boy. Um, protein. When a pregnant woman craves meats and cheese, count on a boy. Um, I haven't really been craving meats and cheese. Like, I've been wanting, like, potatoes. Like, potatoes and potato salad and mashed potatoes and, yeah. So, I guess that means girl. I don't... Um... Feet. If you can sit, it, are your feet colder now that you're pregnant? If so, you might be having a boy. If you have, if your feet have stayed, what the hell? My tablet just decided to like take me off the page. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see, where was I? If your feet have stayed the same before pregnancy and during you're having a girl, my feet have stayed the same. So, it's a girl. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Number 22, headaches. If you're having headaches, you might be carrying a boy. Well, in there. Um... Number 23, baby names. It is said when you can only think of, a, of specific names for a boy or a girl that you will have that particular baby. Um, so, I'm pretty set on what I want to name it if it's a girl. Um, I'm alternating. Bouncing around if it's a boy. So, I don't know. Um, I guess that, I'm not sure. 
Um, old wives till number 24. Urine. What is the color of your pee? If it's bright yellow, you're having a boy. If it's a dull yellow, plan on a girl. I don't pay attention to that. And I haven't had a urine specimen done since I first found out I was pregnant. So, yeah. And by the time I have an, my next urine specimen, I'll already know the gender. So, that one I'm not going to answer. But the final tally is 6 for boy, 16 for girl. So, like I said, <sighs> sorry about that. Me and my mom were going over this and yet another reason why she thinks that I'm having a girl is because so many of the, the uh, old wives tells point to girl. As I said, tomorrow we will know for sure what it is, but until then, we can only guess, so stay tuned till tomorrow, or until tomorrow, and we'll find out what it is. I'll talk to you later. Bye!